Michelle Obama recently did an interview in which she made a failed attempt to convince us how much we need the government. She sat there talking to us about how much the government does for us, despite the fact that the first so-called black president did absolutely nothing for us in eight whole years. What is the thing that keeps you up at night now? Or what is, is your biggest fear now after having overcome so many? It has less to do with me personally and more to do with the world that we're in. There's such a thing as knowing too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you've been married to the president of the United States who knows everything about everything in the world, sometimes you just want to turn it You know it off, too much. Right. It's <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't want to know what was in that folder that you just got that made you quiet. So she and Obama know so much. They know everything, according to her. And yet they did absolutely nothing. What is her excuse? You know, I don't want to know why the security just pulled you over. Mm. I mean, it could be any range of things that comes across the desk of the leader of the free world, right? So I know a lot about what's going on and what keeps me up are the things that I know. Mm -hmm. um, the war in the region, in too many regions. Didn't the Obama administration continue the war in Iraq? Didn't the Obama administration engage in regime change in Libya and steal trillions of dollars in gold, which was supposed to benefit African people? Okay, but she's acting like she is so powerless, right? This is a woman who was married to the most powerful man in the world for who sat in office for eight years and they still didn't do anything. So she's making it seem like, oh, this is somebody else's problem. It's somebody else's responsibility to fix it. No, you had an opportunity to do something and you dropped the ball. What is AI going to do for us? The environment, you know, are we moving at all fast enough? What are we doing about education? Again, what did you do about education? What did you do to protect the environment when you were in power? Mm. Are people going to vote? And why aren't people voting? Um, people voted for your husband and they didn't get anything out of it. Are we too stuck to our phones? I mean, those yeah. are the things that yeah. keep me up because you, you don't have control over them. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, where are people, where are we in this? You know, where are our hearts? What's going to happen in this next election? I am terrified about what could possibly happen because our leaders matter who we select who our leaders our leaders matter right we chose your husband well i didn't choose him i didn't vote for him but y'all chose him and i don't think that it mattered i think that we got the same thing from obama that we would have gotten out of anything else we got more wars we got more uh bailouts for corporations more failed policies i don't think that it changed anything speaks for us who holds that bully pulpit first of all you don't speak for me i have written my elected officials several times and they don't represent the will of the people they don't represent my will they don't represent your will and let me rewind it back because she just called it a bully pulpit speaks for us who holds that bully pulpit that's exactly what it is it is a bully pulpit all they do is sit in their ivory towers telling us how to live our lives taking our money through physical force they don't serve the will of the people they don't serve the common good it affects us in ways that I, sometimes i think people take for granted that is absolutely true it does affect us in many ways the government has the power to destroy our lives and people don't think that it's a big deal they think oh i'm just going to obey the government it doesn't matter no it does matter. It, the government controls whether you eat, sleep, or shit. You know, the fact that people think that government, eh, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really even do anything. And I'm like, oh my God. The government does plenty. It just doesn't do anything good. Does government do everything for us? And we cannot take... The government doesn't do anything for us. Um... I, I can't name one thing that the government has ever done for me that actually benefited me. I did serve in the military, and when I was in the military, I knew how to follow orders because I signed up for that, so it was based on my consent. 
I was getting something out of it. This is something completely different when we're talking about the civilian world. All you do is obey the government and you get nothing out of it. Um, I think most people would be hard pressed to name one thing that the government has ever done to benefit their lives directly. America is not a free society. I don't know anyone who feels free. The government is not based on consent. It's based on force. People are not voting because they know the government does not serve them. Most people intuitively know that the government does not benefit them. However, they still cling to government because they have been programmed to think that the government is the end all be all. As John Jacques Rousseau so eloquently stated, it is people's dependence on government which makes them degenerate in the first place. Then when people become degenerate, then people think they need the government to fix the problem which the government created in the first place. Because we have always had the government telling people the difference between right and wrong, people have never had an opportunity to learn a difference between right and wrong for themselves. When a government collapses, most people are going to be helpless sitting ducks. They have no basic survival skills. They don't know how to grow their own food. They don't know how to hunt. They don't know how to protect themselves and their families. They are scared little creatures who get all their information from the government and they can't even think for themselves. When the government and the economy collapses, people are going to suffer and they are going to suffer hard. It's their fault because they made the government their God. The government is not a nebulous institution which serves the common good. The government is made up of men who act according to their own self-interest. If you worship the government, then you're really worshiping men. If you care more about men who you don't even know than you care about yourselves and your families, there is something seriously wrong with you. You are a mind-controlled slave who needs to wake up. I'm not even a Christian, and even I know that's wrong. If we really need the government, the question becomes, what did people do before government? I don't see birds, squirrels, bees, dogs, cats, sitting around thinking that they can't survive without the government. For one to think that we need the government means that sad person has a slave mentality. The government is a social construct. Clearly, government has not always existed. There was a time when there were no governments. The government is not the alpha and the omega. Become self-sufficient and get off the government's tits. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.